What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. The Candido eight week program is finally available. Now you may be thinking, wait Johnny, wasn't it the Candido seven week program coming? Now it took me about a year to add one week to the program. I finally fucking done it, man. I finally pulled it off. But now for real, this has been something that I've been working on for really <laughs> as an idea I've had for around five years. But as far as actively working on it and figuring out exactly how I wanna do it, about a full year. However, I'm really excited in the way that it's being put into context. So for, to be clear, if you click on the link in the description, it will say Candido Forever program. I think you and I are destined to do this forever. Now I'm making the title about the Candido eight week program, but it is in the context of programming that will be indefinite. And there'll also be an hour long Q and A every single week. So four hours of Q and A's every single month. And right now, if you buy it, it's $12.99 a month forever. So even when the sale's over, your price is $12.99 permanently, as long as you just stick with it. Monday. Then it will be $19.99 uh, indefinitely. And in my opinion, that, that is far more in line with the norm for what this is going to be. Uh, I would actually say the norm is closer to that $30 to $50 mark, but I want this to be just a super good value across the board. I'm gonna make this video as long as it takes to explain everything rather than kind of optimize for views. So first the goal is for the Candido eight week program to be the best intermediate powerlifting program, which you know, I of course believe it is. Uh, now that is a subjective thing, so I'm not gonna you know, put other programs down or say anything crazy like that. I think the number one reason for why this is the best option is the fact that there's a three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, six times a week version. Overall, there's six different versions of the eight week program. There's a four week intro, and then there's a beginner program. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. First, just to focus on the eight week, there are six versions, like I said, the three times a week is full body, and that is to just be as efficient as possible. And then the main version is five times a week in total. But the four times a week is two times a week squat rather than three times a week squat. And then finally, the six times a week version is six times a week bench. So something that was really a part of my vision for this is I wanted to make sure that there's no example of a lifter that wouldn't be attended to with this. And you know, for myself, when I was preparing for meets, I was benching six times a week. So that was something that was really important to me is to not just kind of play to the averages and just have three times a week bench or two times a week bench and just call it a day. I wanted to make sure like, no, literally my situation would be taken care of. And actually one of the inspirations for the six days a week bench is a lifter who has a Canadian 93 kilogram uh, open record still to this day as a national record. And we worked together and it just worked really well. In a version that's not even notable frequency wise is version five, that's a low rep version. So it not only is a low rep version, but it's also fundamentally different in terms of the type of periodization. It's the only one that's truly 100% block periodization to where there's no fluctuation in volume across weeks. And that's intentional because that version is both suitable for heavier lifters. So if you're 220 and above, and you know you don't handle, let's say eight reps and above very well, uh, or you're a really advanced lifter. And I've definitely you know, dealt with certain lifters where they're super strong, but they're just really sensitive due to that. And they need a lot of sub max work. They need a top set in you know, back downs that are really sub max. And those types of lifters thrive off of a different style periodization then too, because at that point you don't wanna change anything because you wanna just keep it slow and steady. In that program, that's the one where the deadlift is on its own primary day. Whereas on the other versions, the primary day is the same as the squat. So as far as what I mean by forever program and the programming in the future, there's actually a lot to it. So first of all, the next phase is going to be a five week squat hypertrophy phase. And this is gonna come after the Candido eight week program. So you're gonna run the four week intro, most likely. Then you're gonna run the eight week phase. Then there's going to be that five week phase, which I'll update about six weeks from now. And then after that, that's where you'll actually have a lot of options. So during that five week squat hypertrophy phase, you'll be doing triples on the deadlift and there'll be more varied deadlift work with that focus on the squat. And then the bench press will also be a 10 rep max type of phase uh, focusing on hypertrophy. And then after that, you will have an optional three rep max phase. And that's gonna be really interesting because that's also going to be five weeks. And then you go back to a second version of the eight week phase. And that would actually be a different eight week program. So there'll actually be two eight week phases in six versions of each phase. And then of the five week squat hypertrophy phase, there'll be four versions. 
And the reason for this is because, again, it's as similar to coaching as possible. So I don't have anybody who squats three times a week do a hypertrophy phase on the squat three times a week because you just it's unnecessary. Your volume, if you're already doing like five by five type workouts, is already high enough. And just from an evidence-based perspective, there's no benefit for hypertrophy from going two times a week to three times a week. So it doesn't have to exist. But there will still be four times a week to cover all of the variants that we're talking about, such as the six times a week bench or the point I didn't even mention yet is the machine uh, upper body version of a true power building program where it's all powerlifting lower body and all machine work upper body, which is actually what I'm going to be running uh, on this channel down the road. So those versions are accommodated for as if they're different people. And the reason for the five week squat hypertrophy phase in this context is because from experience, I have simply found that even though I can progress running the eight week program over and over and over again, when it was a seven week program, I did that for a year and a half. With clients, I have found that it is actually more effective to have it an eight week phase, then a five week hypertrophy phase, and then you get to make the decision. Do you go back to the eight week phase and five week phase and just alternate between those two? And then you're maxing out obviously every 13 weeks, which is quite a good timeline. Or if you need more time and space for deadlift volume, then you do that triple phase that's gonna be five weeks long. And I didn't mention yet that the deadlift will actually have a true volume phase there. So that's why the deadlift actually, the volume phase will begin and it'll be basically 12 weeks out from the next time that deadlift maxes out. So you could go eight week, five week, and then another five week with that three rep max phase, then that second eight week phase. And what's cool about that second eight week phase, again, there will be six different versions. So you'll have two eight week programs with six different versions and four versions of all of the programs in between time. But what's cool about that second eight week phase is that it will start with doubles in the first four weeks and then progress to singles in the last four weeks. So if you run that five week phase where the triples are the emphasis, there's no singles there. And then there'll be five weeks of triples, four weeks of doubles, and then four weeks of singles. And that works really well for some people because not everybody responds well to singles year round. You know, as much as I promote it and talk about it, you know, there are people where I don't have them do singles year round. So it's really cool too, because then you get to pick. So if you do the eight week and five week and just alternate between those, the five week hypertrophy phase I mentioned earlier, that does have singles year round. So there you're having plenty of high reps and singles year round mixed into both of those phases. Whereas if you need a more kind of traditional momentum based three rep, two rep single, then you have that option as well. And you could actually skip that five week hypertrophy phase and just go triples, doubles, singles. So overall, it really will give you, you know, the full picture better than anything I've seen. And with the Q and A's, you will have you know, someone to answer all your questions. So the goal overall is to simulate coaching as close as possible, especially with having your, your questions directly answered each week. Now, one of the things that will be really exciting for people who also are interested in just general strength and not only powerlifting, you know, which even you know, I myself, I have a side of myself where I like to do things that are just fun for the sake of it, is there will be side quests. So with the side quests, I would say this is gonna start around four months in the first one is going to be version two of the Candido six week program. So that's something that, you know, the Candido six week program is still on the, these top three lists as far as programs to run for powerlifting. Uh, and it's something I have not updated in about seven years. And I definitely have very different thoughts now than I did back then. However, I will still keep the original uh, spirit of the program. So it still will be percentage based. It still will be very aggressive. Just certain phases will be elongated a little bit and certain things will be added in and the bench will be fixed. And then on top of that, one of the other side quests I have is a 20 rep max squat is one of the number one things I wanna do. It actually doesn't make sense. It's one of the top things I wanna do. Um, and it's going to be both based off of actually a 20 rep max phase I've had for a client multiple times that went really well. But then also, I myself, remember I did that 500 for 21 deadlift, and that was actually based off of a similar structure to what I have. And I believe I was the lightest natural lifter to deadlift 500 pounds for 20 reps or more. Now, there was one who did it as well, lighter, but he wasn't natural, so Jake, that doesn't count. There's also an absolute beginner program that is my best recommendation that I actually spent quite a bit of time on that because I looked at every single beginner program. People still recommend you know, starting strength, and you're like, all right, why are you avoiding curls <laughs> for multiple weeks, like just for no reason? Or neglecting your know, machine rows just on a false belief that barbell rows are somehow inherently better. But even in that, it was really important to just stay true to what I believe. So for example, at the beginner program, it's just two weeks long. It's one week is the you know, introduction as far as testing and figuring out where you're at. And then the second week you run indefinitely. 
and I be, I could have you know dragged that out and try to make oh make it more complementary to all this by making the beginner program you know eight to ten weeks long and try to get uh, people kind of trapped in it as long as possible. But I don't think that's as effective. I don't think a beginner needs periodization like that. And ultimately, I think the value still will be there as far as Q and A's running that week over and over again until you get to the intermediate stage, and then you'll have all the solutions from there. So again, the goal is for it to really be worth it for everybody to join in. Now, before I go, I wanna talk about three types of people who should not buy this. Yes, I'm gonna reverse sell this. <laughs> but it, it's serious because I don't want someone to buy this and then be disappointed at what they see or confused as to what they see. I want people to know what they're getting and buy it with all their soul and commit to this. First group is if you absolutely need Sheets to be taken offline. This is a web app, so it is you know, a vertical video, it's an in-app format, and when it comes to writing down your weights, you actually swipe up and then it makes a note. So then the note, you just write the load. You actually don't have to write anything else. If you just write the load, it will already, when you look back in your history, going to write another note, it will already tell you the sets, reps, and RPE that I gave it at. So that, obviously you could write in the real-time RPE uh, after the fact if you want, and you can add anything. But I actually think what's cool is that you're able to see the history of that given lift as opposed to having to go week by week. So you could actually see your competition squat across all cycles. And I think that that's actually a really interesting upside. But something I want to be clear about, because it's not 100% intuitive to do that. <laughs> I've actually noticed that a handful of people running it right now are not actually writing down the load. But if you're the type, again, if you're the type of person where it's like, look, I need a sheet, that's how I work. And the end of the day, then, you know, this just isn't for you because <laughs> it's never going to be in that format. You're not welcome here. Second type of person is the type of person on the opposite end of the spectrum. If you're the type of person where you're looking for more of an app that's to build your own workouts, or you're really looking for maximum flexibility, then this is not for you. This is to follow a specific vision that I have, that you pay $200 a month to be coached by a powerlifting coach, uh, and what would you do? How would that flow to get as strong as possible? Now, one thing that is really important is I do have a home gym replacement for every single lift. And that is really important to me because obviously I understand some people don't have access to leg extensions or whatever machines. But for the most part, when I recommend a lift is done, when I put it a first on there and I have other options to replace it, I am saying that that is the lift that I would program for you. That is a lift that I recommend for you. And you know, sometimes you can, yeah, you can substitute out a lift like close grip bench for reverse grip bench, but there's a reason why I'm not saying reverse grip bench. <laughs> and if it's not even listed as an option, Really, don't do it. <laughs> do not do it. Stop it. Get some help. There's a reason why I have this. Uh, you know, if you're a wide grip bencher, I have different accessories for you uh, in certain points, uh, like feet up bench instead of close grip bench. And then there are certain times where you have incline bench uh, as a close grip bencher versus an alternative. So it's all done on purpose. And it's all done based on real world uh, you know, past results. And that's something I can't emphasize enough is I looked through so much client history to find out like, okay, what worked with this type of bench or what worked with a you know, 440 bencher who thrived on lower reps? Like what did we do? What type of more interesting accessories did we do rather than just blasting you know, Larson press for eights? You know, for some different situations, it's totally different. And even in the case where there's a list of options on one exercise slot, what I'm saying there is those are all equal in value to me. So for example, in uh, the primary day, on the squat day on the eight week program, there's a slot where it's a pendulum squat, it's a belt squat or a hack squat or a super squat, which is like a V squat. On all of those, I see those as all effective and it all really depends on you. And when it comes to pushing eight rep sets there, you can push eight rep sets hard on all of those lifts. Whereas I do have a substitution option for a traditional leg press. So yes, it is an option, but it is a tier below that because you're limiting hip extension range of motion and ultimately reducing total range of motion, which makes it a little bit less effective. But something like a single leg press isn't there at all because in that case, I don't want you pushing eights for that type of transference that that slot should have. All right, so that covers everything. This is the most exciting project I've ever done in my life. So if you're inclined to join me, I will actually be on the Q&A this Friday. But I'll be posting videos as well, so don't feel left out. Don't feel like, oh, I'm just, just hiding into my little corner now on this. Uh, it's going to be an everything thing, so this is going to coincide with the channel. Um, and like I said, it's the best way to support the channel. 
and there will absolutely be more videos to come. I'm actually going to hire an editor uh, so that I don't have all of you know, everything on myself, which I've had you know, for the whole time that I've had the channel. I've always only edited videos myself. So it's actually going to be a really exciting time. A lot of things are going to blow up, but most importantly, I'm really proud of the value that this will bring. I think that this can really fill a huge gap in the market because a lot of people hire a coach who's that high level, but then they themselves may either not need it nor you know, maybe not get the same attention, and they're just in a different situation where they just need to know what to do. <laughs> and really, that's, that's what they're looking for. It's just what do people do now? What's the smart way to train? And then how do you have continuity throughout the year? And that's the overall total solution is the goal here. So you know, if you paid for a program that's just a, a really good program, but it's just one 12 week program, you're still not gonna really get that solution of what to do next. So with that being said, again, if you wanna support your boy, if you're interested in it, link is in the description for the Candido eight week program and the Candido Forever program. I will see you guys soon. Peace.